Okay. And I got a humanity there because I healed, not because I got one from anything else. I'm sure that most people had already guessed that. So let's get out of this area. We're pretty much done here for now. Uh, we'll come back and do that rest of that stuff when we do the Crest of Artorias thing. I just wanted to buy it now, because when I come back later, I probably won't have a big chunk of souls. So, what I want to do now is I want to go up to, into the Undead Burg, and, uh, sure, we can do the... We can do the next part. Um, it's pretty quick. Fairly easy. Did I kindle that bonfire at the top here? I think I did. Not at the top here, but where I'm heading to. In the Undead Burg. Um, yeah, yeah, I did. Okay, so, do I want to go through the burg backwards, or go around from the tower? Um, if I go around this way, then I can stop at the bonfire first. So I guess we'll do it this way. So we're pretty set, well set up. I mean, you saw me getting hit with stuff, and I'm taking much, much less damage now than wearing my cleric gear. <laughs> oh yeah, that reminds me. The knight armor is a straight downgrade from the elite knight armor. Um, and it pretty much has the same description for everything. I'll, I'll show off what it looks like. For the most part, it looks pretty similar. Um, the visor is open, and it doesn't have like the tabard and stuff like that. It looks pretty cool. But for the most part, it's just worse in every way. It might be lighter. Yeah, it's lighter. But we've got Hubble's Ring now, so we don't need to worry about that. So here, we can use the basement key to... You know what? I'll just go this way. This is the really long ladder to slide down, so I'll do it this way. Whee! Good chunk. So this is lower undead burg. It's got a lot of fire around, so it's pretty laggy. Sometimes. Um... So if we go up here, up these stairs, we can open a door here, which allows us to get back to this area. I'm sure you recognize this. This is that part of the upper undead burg where the, well, the door that we couldn't open from the other side is. And those guys saw us as we were coming up the stairs. Across this bridge. Oh hi! And notice how much how much less damage I took from that guy. Yeah, things are going to be much simpler to fight basic enemies now. Obviously, as the game progresses, the game they like they expect you to uh, get more gear. Uh, level up. I might as well. Let's start raising our strength. Now, I could probably ignore these guys if I really wanted to. Simply because I can kind of ignore their... I won't say that. Like, you can't ignore pretty much damage from any enemies. Uh, every enemy in the game is dangerous if you if you try to do things the wrong way. So now let's let's do this proper. It's a pretty short area. 
Um, we're basically just going down here to get a key and to unlock a couple things and fight a boss. So here, here are these dogs that was referred to in the item description of the key that we used to get down here. Um, they serve the Capra Demon, who, as you might expect, we are going to be fighting. There's another one down here. That fire, that fire, as before, damages you if you touch it. If we walk over here, somebody, please let me out of here. Somebody, anybody, help me. Unlock the door. Damn, I'm finished. How did this ever happen? So, since we have the residence key, we can open the door here. Which has a a sorcerer man's in it. Brilliant. You opened the door for me. Thank you. I'm saved. I thought I might never escape. I am Griggs of Vinheim, the sorcerer of the school. I am much obliged for your assistance. Thanks to you, I may now resume my travels. So, now he will be uh, a resource for us to use. Oh, hello. I'm fine. I will rest a while, then return to Fire Lake Shrine. I have my sorcery. And I will be more cautious next time. Besides, I have an important task at hand. So, uh, he said it, like, uh, the, the Crestfallen guy said he was uh, talking about Master Logan a lot. Uh, we'll learn about that later. He's a vendor for sorceries, and he will show back show up back at Firelink Shrine, which we will be visiting here fairly soon because of a a, sh a shortcut we're going to unlock. Um. These guys have torches, which actually deals fire damage unless you block it, and in, in which case it doesn't. Actually, the shield I have blocks a lot of fire damage. It could be that it's doing so little, it's just not showing up. Um, that little flurry they do is quite dangerous, so just be careful. Just kind of be patient with them. Watch their attacks. I like that little poke they do. It's just like trying to set you on fire. Over here we get a twin humanity. It's not very useful, but still. If you were like trying to get a bunch of humanity to farm an item or something like that, uh, it'd be useful where, like, you needed to just use a humanity. Ah, oh, that's another thing you can roll into and not destroy, but you can hit it with a weapon and break it. Now, this door is closed. We can't open it. Um, I'm just going to do this because I think it's funny. You can uh, attack the guy that's through this door, through the door. Um, and you can actually kill him pretty easily with most other, with, not most other weapons, but a lot of other weapons, you can if you can uh, manage to kill them one hit, you can just kill them through the door. So these are the aforementioned thieves from the item description of the key. I don't even have my thing equipped. Now these guys are very apt to repost and backstab you, so got to be very careful with them. They also drop the bandit's knife, which is very very good. Uh, we get the Mailbreaker, which is a, I think the first dagger I've picked up. Yeah. Oh, it's it's actually considered a thrusting sword. Is it? It looks like a dagger to me. Hmm. I guess it is. Um. It's good for critical attacks, as you can see. It does a hundred and twenty percent. Uh, Critical modifier. Does the S dock? No. Okay. Most weapons don't. Pretty much just daggers. Did I? Uh, no, I didn't. I was just about to ask myself if I had the longsword equipped the entire time. Oh, I picked up the sorcerer gear too. Um. Oops. It's pretty much. Uh, it's got good magic resistance. Uh, but. It's it's not bad. And if by chance you come down here and, and you haven't picked up a, uh, a headpiece, that's one of the first ones you can find. Like, always. You'll always find that. Uh, 
These dogs are extremely dangerous. Oh. Yeah, you see how he's walking there? That That's his riposte uh, form. Sweet. They dropped an item. Which is it? The Hollow Thief's Hood. Cool. Um, not especially useful. Use the hide a guilty conscience. Uh, speaking of that sort of thing... There is the thief's set here. And a target shield. Target shield is very good for parrying. Uh, I don't I don't favor them. Because, well, and it has a dexterity modifier. <laughs> it's a small shield. Used for parrying and stuff like that. And I don't favor them because I... It, I have an easy enough time parrying without it. If I were to bother doing so. So... Thick leather stuff. Um, it doesn't actually help you hide in the shadows as it kind of claims there. So. Not very useful for us right now. Dog. Luckily I can kill these guys in one hit. That makes things much easier. Need hope. Well, I have hope. I have faith. Be wary of left. Ah, yes. This part. Now there's a guy over there. But mm, what they said, be wary of left. Oh. These guys are throwing, uh, throwing knives at you. They can actually... No, these guys can't drop them. Other guys who use them can drop them. Ah, he's going into his parry form. You can see the knives the knives they're using will do bleed damage. So get some items here. There's a door here. Uh we can't open the door. We need the key that we well, I'll just tell you we're gonna get it from the Capra Demon. Up here we have a source of short bow. And I would like to get one. But they don't drop them all the time. Uh, just a normal hollow dude. And here, shortcut I had, yeah. Let's rate that up. That's, that's, a, that's a good useful thing. Now over here... That's not a good way to attract customers. This is a merchant that sells some interesting stuff. Uh, it sells arrows that have elemental effects on them, which is very nice. Um, I never went over this, but there's different types of ammunition. Uh, standard arrow, wooden arrows, large arrows. Um, they all do different stuff. Uh, the shorter range thing it mentions on them uh, is notable in that the range of the attacks um, actually matters for the damage it does. So, uh, just keep that in mind if you're using that sort of thing. So she sells the moss that you can get from the tree, guys. Uh, and she sells purging stones for more than uh, Oswald sells them for selling a humanity. And prism stones. Let's buy a bunch of prism stones. Just all of them. Uh, you can use them for, like, putting them on stuff and see where things go. Rotten Pine Resin, Poison Your Weapons. Transient Curses. She sells a couple of these. Um, 
I think there's a limited amount. That could have been in earlier versions. Uh, but we'll be needing those when we fight the ghosts. Shock Alpine Resin does fire damage. She sells the alluring skulls and dung pies. It's You're carrying around poop. Um, and you can toxic things with it. Could be useful, but it also toxics you, so you have to have the item to cure that equipped. And poison throwing knives. This person is referred to in some of the things I've read as the female undead merchant. I don't think she has a name otherwise, but it's it is a female character. Not that you can tell from her being mostly a skeleton, but uh, whatever. I'm gonna judge her for that. She's a useful source of useful items. So this is the waterway we came into the undead burg with, and that gate there is the one that we couldn't open before. So now we can go back to Firelink Shrine. And Griggs will be there, and we have a few souls that we can use to buy some of his wares. Although I might want to... Oh! Jeez. Yeah, I might want to buy something from... Uh, the other guy instead. Death from above! Uh, the, the cleric dude. Petrus. That works better when you jump close to the guy. I'm gonna warrior helm. Not useful at all. Thanks for nothing, game. And we can use this opportunity to get our SS flask. So here he is. Oh, hello. I regret meeting you under such compromising circumstances. At least we both made it back unscathed. Incidentally, would you care to learn any sorceries? You're clearly talented, and besides, I owe you. Of course, we will require some materials, but I am happy to teach you some elementary spells. Are you interested? So, he sells sorceries, and he'll only offer this to you if you have a, an intelligence of at least ten. Splendid. Very well. I am pleased to have a chance to give something back. Well then, let's get started straight away. We can afford one sorcery for, of his and be able to use it. The soul arrow is powerful, so let's buy that. He also sells various other things. Fall control is very, very good. Heavy soul arrow is good for bosses. Um, great soul arrow is basically the upgraded version of soul arrow. As is great heavy soul arrow. Magic weapon is interesting, but I don't think it lasts long enough to actually be that useful. Uh, oral decoy can be useful, and it's easy to use. Uh, magic shield is the same problem as magic weapon, but it's even worse. Um... He, he sells Sorcerer's Catalyst, but we picked one of those up, and it's the same as this one. We can get some other special catalysts pretty soon. Uh, these two items here, the Bellowing Dragon Crest Ring, uh, it says it boosts the strength of sorceries, but it also improves the strength of pyromancies, which is important. Um, Lingering Dragon Crest Ring would be useful if you were using things like Magic Weapon and Magic Shield. Logan. Master Logan is a great sorcerer and my teacher. Both of us came to this land as undead. But one day he departed, leaving only a note. I suppose he wished to keep me out of harm's way. But where does that leave me? I have dedicated myself to sorcery. But Master Logan could find no use for me. Now you did manage to get locked in that room. Uh, yes. The note that Master Logan left. It only said he would travel to Anolondo by way of Sen's fortress. I can only guess that he seeks the regal archives. For Master Logan is a tireless pursuer of wisdom. Wisdom trumps all. Everything else is hogwash. When the curse turned him undead, I'm certain that he only felt it was the perfect chance to visit this land. I only wish that I had his courage. You only wish you had his competence. Two things are required for sorcery. First, you must equip a wand. Second, you must attune a sorcery. Then you will be ready to fire away. Oh, and don't forget to aim. That's important. Mm -hmm. What's that? Oh, I, I kind of walked away from him too quickly. So, now that we've done that, let's go buy some stuff oh. from him. Hello. Uh, 
yes, the force spell. The force spell. Well, I've already described what that does. So let's rest at the bonfire and actually go fight that boss I was talking about. I wonder, does uh you have anything to say? Why, what a surprise. I didn't expect you to make it. Oh, somebody rang the bell. Wait, was it you? You'll never give up, do you? I don't know how you do it. Well, don't stop now. Only one more. But it's going to be suicide. <laughs> yep, now you gotta go to Blight Town. Which we're making our way towards. What's wrong? Get a bit of a scare out there. No problem. Have a seat and get comfortable. We'll both be hollow before you know it. <laughs> well, what are you going to do? I've already decided. I don't really care. I'm simply crestfallen. And that, I think, is the reference that people use to name him. How did that nutty sorcerer make it back? Unexpected. But I suppose stranger things have happened. Yep. I was referring to Griggs over there. Hmm? What now? Okay, he's done. He's done. Let's see if Fancy Pants down here has anything to say. Well, where have you been? <laughs> I'm glad to see you're safe. Oh. Anything else? Have you heard of Trusty Patches? If ever a man has rubbed me up the wrong way, <sighs> if he ever comes around again, I swear I'll have his hide. We'll see him later. Anything else? Hmm. Nope. Trusty Patches, huh? The other NPCs don't talk about him. Not that I remember, anyway. I never rested here. And while we're here, let's let's equip one of our other spells. Um, let's try out. Let's try the the force spell, since uh, it's easier just to have miracles equipped. Now, one of the things you can do with spells is you can equip them in either hand, and just like swap out your uh, your shield. Um, to cast a, a buff spell or something like that. Somebody died. Fun times. Alright. Freaking dudes over here. I'm not gonna bother killing that guy. Boom! This is what the force spell does. I didn't actually manage to knock either of those dudes off the cliff, but uh... That's fine. I don't really care. It also, uh, as it says in the spell description, it blocks arrows. I'm curious as to why it it has 21 uses. It seems rather arbitrary number. Uh, I guess it could be like, I don't know, it's a multiple of seven, maybe. Hello. Oh. So here we go. Let's go ahead and come down here. And we're going to have to fight these guys. We can sneak up on the, the thieves. Backstab them. I would say that's ironic, but it's not really ironic. Okay, so... Pretty fast shortcut. You can hear a dog coming at me here. Two dogs, actually. Oh. 
sandwiched between them. Not a good good position to be in. So this is the door to the Capper Demon. Uh, let's let's leave a message for people. Let's see. Uh, imminent. Hmm. No. Eh, thinking about that. There's something I I wanted to kind of characters. Maybe there's something here. I guess a demon? Yeah, sure. I mean a demon. There we go. Most, like, people will, will write things about, like, how hard the boss is and stuff like that. So, one of the things that we want to do here is going to be something that happens pretty much immediately as the fight starts. Uh, we're going to be wanting to... The Capra Demon is in there and there will be two dogs with him. And you'll see what I mean when we get in there. We want to try. We want to avoid the Capra Demon's initial attacks and then try to get past him and then kill the dogs. See if I can do this on the first try. Okay. Oh God. Do you see how they were blocking the stairs there? That was just bad luck. The way they formed a square like that and completely blocked off the stairway. I could have gone around them, but I was trying to go up. So. Uh. Just bad luck in the uh, in the enemy placement. Oh well, not that big a deal. And only like fifteen hundred souls or something anyway. Oh god, the auto aim messed me up there. Hi. Boys. Yeah, I fell off the ledge because uh, it switched because I had a character locked. When I hit the stick to move the camera, it switched to another guy. It was my fault, really. I could have used force to knock those dogs out of the way, but the Capra Demon still would have hit me. And I wasn't thinking of it at the time. Oh well. This boss is pretty hard. Um, and it's all about this first, like, 10 to 20 seconds of the fight. So, not too worried about it. And the dogs, I think, ha in, in the boss fight have slightly more hit points than the normal dogs, so... If you can kill them in one hit outside of the boss fight, that's not necessarily the case inside of it. Which I can do, but we, we shall see if that's the case inside. Okay, you can also run into this little gap here, but oftentimes that'll get you stuck. Okay, so now we're, we're, we're in good shape here. This, this right here is a, a good place to stand to avoid the Capra Demon's attacks. He can get up there, but it makes it harder for him. So now, this is the Capra Demon himself. Um, Capra Demon is relatively susceptible to lightning attacks. Many of the enemies in this game are susceptible to lightning attacks. This guy's not particularly susceptible compared to a lot of other bosses, but... Uh, it does a little, deal a lot of damage to him. You can block most of his attacks. That big over overhand smash he does, you can't you can't block that. So, yeah, most of the most of the difficulty in the fight is that that first initial burst of activity, um, and the dogs. The dogs are basically a, a big enough distraction that it makes the fight much harder. 
So now we have the key to the depths. And now that we've done something, we've done that, something else has become active. So, before we do anything else, let's open the door here. And we'll, we'll be doing that next time, but let's go back to Firelink Shrine for a moment. Since we did just fight a boss. And the shortcut is right here. We'll obviously be coming back this way. One of the things I really like about this helmet is that the uh, the tusks... You can use the tusks sort of as, as crosshairs when you're aiming items and, and things like that. Because you can kind of... Uh, the arc that things would be in if you were like lining it up between them sometimes helps mostly with like fire bombs and stuff rather than like crossbows or anything like that it also works a little bit for dome firing spells but not all that well because many of the spells have weird arcs and like uh, soul arrow barely works if you're not aiming with it You get to live. So, hello Griggs. How are you doing? Um... Hmm. I was gonna level up, but I can do that after this. So, now that we have fought the Capra Demon, Petrus's guests have arrived. Oh, hello. My guests have finally arrived. I will be departing with them shortly. So, I'm afraid I will be saying goodbye soon. It was a pleasure. Do you say anything else? Oh, miracles? Yeah, he does. Rhea is the youngest daughter of the good house of Thurland. Those young knights are her old schoolmates. But I'm not sure what to make of them. I'm afraid they may be a bad influence. So she's some kind of princess or something. Rhea is the youngest. But I, I'm a Brea is the hooded, hooded figure back there. Again. The I could buy, uh, what other miracles do you have that I could buy? Homeward. Homeward's pretty useless. I already have the heal spell. Um, I could buy another copy of it, but I don't think I'll ever be using that. And I don't have enough for a great heal excerpt, which is also pretty useless. Hmm. Now we'll just leave that be. Come again. The effectiveness of the teachings... Depend upon your faith. All right. Well, you got to save yourself. Hmm. Okay, he doesn't say anything useful. Hmm? What have we here? You look awfully raggedy. Times are grim. The least you can do is look sharp. Don't you dare meet my lady like that. You might scare her off for good. Hey. You got like elite knight armor and a sweet pig helmet. What's wrong with you? Oh, you again. What business have you? I don't suppose we can help, though. We accompany my lady on her righteous mission. It is quite a chore, but I'm stuck with her. And Nico, too. I can't very well abandon them now. This is Nico. I, I think this guy's name is Vince. Oh, it's you. What can one do? Oops. Rary or not. Rary or not. Does it say the same thing if I talk to him again? Oh, it's you. We're to leave momentarily. The catacombs aren't exactly my idea of a good time, but what can one do? I do hope we meet again. Rare or not. Okay, so this is Rhea. She's kind of praying to the pot god. You are undead as well. And we've no time to fraternize. I have my mission and you no doubt have yours. We must not let this curse overcome us. So she's undead too. Um, her mouth doesn't move when she talks. Did I not explain the urgency of our tasks? Or are you so uncouth as to lack such judgment? By the looks of you, I should think not. That sentence doesn't make any sense to me. But I guess she was, like, interrupting herself. She doesn't say anything else. So they're heading into the catacomb catacombs. I guess I should wish them luck. The catacombs are a treacherous place full of skeletons. 
and other skeletons. What do you have to say about this? Did you see her? That virtuous little maiden, complete with followers in tow? They're probably going straight to pillage graves. I've heard enough about a lady for a lifetime. What absolute rubbish, eh? That's what you get for talking to Petrus, I guess. Have you been to the ruins of New Londo below? Just head down the stairs and take the lift. It's certainly worth a visit. It was once an undead city. You may find a clue or two. Unless the ghosts find you first. <laughs> oh yeah, we've been there. How did that raggedy old chum end up? You know, the one who idolized some godmother of pyromancy. He left for Blighttown, but never came back. Whereas most flee from sickness, he dives right in. Well, nothing will harm him once he goes hollow. You done? He's referring to an NPC we will find pretty soon. Mm -hmm. And he's idolizing the godmother of pyromancy, so you know, this one might guess he is a pyromancer. You again. Oh. Okay. Sometimes he'll say things about uh, those people up there, but I guess not yet. Hmm. Okay. Griggs doesn't say anything about the other NPCs, so. Um. I suppose I can level up a little bit. Let's get our strength up. We only need one more strength to use the shield. As a matter of fact, um. Let's use some soul items. Oh, the soul of the moon, moonlight butterfly, which I never looked at. Uh, we can use this to. Um create a unique weapon or to we can eat it and get some souls out of it. This one's only worth like 5,000 uh, and you can make some items with it. So I'll save it to do that with. This is a huge amount of souls but it's not actually a huge amount of souls. I want to keep these around because there's something special you can do with them later so let's use these ones. How much do I need? Okay. I guess we'll use these ones then. Oh, there we go. Yeah, they, that's the same as the uh, the Moonlight Butterfly, actually. So, got our strength up. And I, I could get another level, but we'll just leave it at that. Actually, let's buy some more spells from Griggs. Did you see them? The three young clerics headed for the catacombs to seek kindling. Kindling is the art of feeding bonfires. The poor young girl sent down into a tomb. What a terrible mission she is burdened with. Oh, okay. I guess I was wrong. They, he does say something about them. Oh, hello. Myself. Okay. Uh, let's buy... Hmm. Fall control requires 15 intelligence. I will be getting up to that eventually. Probably fairly soon. Simply to use this spell, actually. Let's buy... Uh, you know what? Yeah, let's buy fall control. All right. That may we... There's... I want to have that before I get to a certain area. Um, and I'm going to be wanting to buy another attunement slot before that as well. So I'm going to need a couple points of that. So I think we're done for now. Um, next time we will be heading into the depths and further past that, Blight Town. So I will see you next time on Let's Play Dark Souls.